What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl, and today I want to talk to you about what's going on in New York City. Also, the New York Post wrote an article about it, so I will be sharing that with you as well, but it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Have you guys seen Jackson Heights, Queens lately with the sweethearts, the market sweethearts, and all the... Oh, migrants over there selling illegal items it's just a mess it's just a mess the whole sidewalk now when i ask you guys have you been over there lately i'm talking to my new yorkers okay i know i got a lot of people that, that's out of town listening to me talk about what's going on in new york but i'm pretty sure there's some crazy things happening in your state as well and if it is let me know in the comment section let's talk about it so the new york post wrote an article about what's going on in Jackson Heights. So let's talk about it, okay? New York City block turned into illicit open air market for migrant crooks and sweetheart shops. It's relentless. A stretch of Jackson Heights has deteriorated into an illegal migrant shopping district, an unchecked open air market where everything from women to stolen goods can be had. Now, on Roosevelt Avenue near 91st Street is littered daily with migrant vendors hawking goods they ripped off from other shopkeepers just steps away. While, you know, SEX workers proposition pass the buyers at all hours of the day and frustrated merchants and residents say they they're helpless to do anything about it it's relentless said milton reyes who manages me pharmacia pharmacy on the avenue you should see it on saturdays it's so heavy you can't even step onto the sidewalk there are a lot of doctors offices right around here and my customers don't even want to get dropped off so if this keep going on pharmacies are going to lose money doctors offices are going to lose patients because nobody wants to walk through all that mess okay you got the migrants lined up with stolen goods and other items taking up the whole sidewalk you have the sweethearts out there. We're going to call them sweethearts. You got the sweethearts out there propositioning people, you know, so they can make their money. A lot of children walk on the avenue with their parents and this stuff is going on. It's going to be at a point where nobody wants to deal with Roosevelt Avenue, but Roosevelt Avenue is a long stretch. But this is going on for a while now. This has been going on for a while. It's, it's absolutely insane. So Milton said, I'm not faulting the police. They will come by and they will pick up a few, I, few of them. But as soon as the police cars pulls away, they start right back, putting everything back out. 20 minutes later, they're all set up again like nothing happened. Migrant peddlers lay out stolen merchandise for resale at a steep discount with items as benign as mouthwash, diapers, and baby formula spread out on blankets or on beach towels right on the sidewalk. The ill-gotten goods are stored in suitcases packed into vans that are parked across the street, hauled out for display starting in the morning with one crooked vendor wheeling up the items inside a stolen Target shopping cart during one business day this week. <clears throat> they scatter when a reporter and photographer from the Post showed up, mistaking the news crew for police officers, but were back in business as soon as they passed by. Now, the SDX workers openly cruise the street as older madams sit nearby and point out potential Johns as they pass by. One law enforcement source blames soft on crime laws that severely that excuse me that severely limit what cops can and cannot do. So basically 
if the cops come by and they arrest, let's just say one of the sweetheart girls, right? They take them in, they go to court, but they right back on the street. So the police could only do but so much. And they call soft on crime laws. And that severely limits what the cops can and cannot do, okay? And it cut low level to nonviolent offenders loose once they get to court. Mm -mm -mm. Now, open air SEX workers has played sections of Roosevelt Avenue for months with a seedy market of sweethearts thriving with XEX for sale right on the street or inside a series, series of walk-up buildings now functioning as brothels. So there's a lot of shops, you know, you can walk straight into and they're like cut into rooms. And that's how the SEX workers make their money because they're going to one of those rooms and, you know, handle their business. Or if you walk in and go up the stairs, there's business SEX workers are waiting for and they're upstairs. So you'll probably see somebody standing outside with a little mini skirt on and you can tell who are the SEX workers. They're outside with little mini skirts on and all of that. And they're going to walk up to you. Hey, you want a party tonight? You know, they just say stuff like that. Or they try to get your attention by lifting up their skirt and showing you, you know, what you can get. It's crazy on Roosevelt Avenue. I'm telling you, there's a lot of stuff going on. And Brooklyn isn't any better, okay? Over there by Pennsylvania Avenue and Workman Street, all over in that area, they got it going on over there too. And honey, over there in Brooklyn, they're walking the streets in their little, you know, skimpy little outfits, showing everything, okay? Showing you exactly what you want to get. It's crazy. I mean, it is crazy. New York, Gotham City is absolutely off the chain. A lot of stuff is happening. So one guy named Francisco Oporta, he's a security guard at Lot Less, and he told the Post, they are stealing. They rip it out of the box, but but it's ours. You can see it's brand new, but they are selling it as used. It's our stuff. They have been training people, said Oporta um, of Long Island City. They have lookouts. You know, people to yell so they can pick up and leave when the police come. I am catching a lot, a lot of them stealing. I caught 20 people last week, 20 in one week. They are hurting businesses. And when you hurt the business because of the stealing, it forces that business to close down. Because they're not making the money. So somebody coming in every day and they're stealing goods. That's taking money off the shelves. And now they're going to have a shrink problem. Oh, my goodness. Customers constantly complain, but shopkeepers calls to 311 do little to stop the lawlessness. I don't know what's ever going to get, what's, you know, what's ever going to get rid of this said one local who would not identify himself. It's a sub-economy. Everybody buys from these guys. There was a few, mostly at night, kind of like a bazaar. About a year ago, it built up. But I thought these people aren't getting the kind of opportunities. They need to feed themselves. You know, they're trying to survive. So whatever he said, about a year ago, there's five of them started at 10 in the morning, then 10 of them, and then there's 20 of them all day and night. Forget about it. It's just become normal. You know what? It's a lot going on. And I think if New York City was to stop 
with, you know, being a sanctuary city. There's nothing in New York City for anybody. You take from the residents and you give to the migrants. The migrants can get away with anything. If the migrants are getting away with beating up the police officers, what you think is, do you actually think is they're going to stop them from selling stuff on the street or stop sweetheart markets? It's so crazy right now. It is so crazy. But let a resident do something to, to the police. Oh, they're getting beat down. They're getting put in jail for years. New York City these politicians need to stop with all the sanctuary stuff and they need to change the, the squatter laws as well because these illegal migrants are taking over people's homes. A couple of days ago, a migrant burned down somebody else's home. It's crazy. It is real. It's really, really crazy. But I just want to bring you guys up to date on that. Let me know if you heard about it. It's a lot. It's a lot. And um, I also heard that DeSantis from Florida, well, he put in an order about the um, squatters. He gave the homeowners, okay, he's for the homeowners. And he said, Basically, you have a right to take care of the problem because they're not dealing with squatters in Florida. They're not dealing with trespass, people trespassing on their property. So basically, you have the right to take care of what you need to take care of. And I really wish New York City would put that law into place. I do. But Gotham City it is. Gotham City it is. Anyway, you guys, I will talk to you later.